Hey, what's up and welcome back to the channel. I'm Steve. What time is it? It's time to unbox the Boss RC505 Looper. I just got it in from Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas, USA. A lot of people think this looper is just for beatboxing and stuff like that, but I've used it for acoustic guitar, electric guitar, and a whole lot of fun making some serious rock and roll. After the unboxing, we're going to take a look at a full demo of how I built this song right here, which I haven't even written or recorded yet. Subscribe here at Steve Guitar. I'm going to be doing a bunch more videos on the Boss RC505, uh, demonstrating all the features, the effects, uh, doing live looping demonstrations, and more. All right, after the break, we'll hop into it. Here we go. All right, so this is the box that I got from Alamo Music. Uh, this was exceptionally well packaged. I don't know that I've ever seen something this well done. I've gotten things from Musician's Friend and Sweetwater and Guitar Center and others over the years, but this one topped them all. Just well done, well packed, and nice fragile label and all that good stuff. Um, this is a knife, and uh, I try not to cut myself here. Give it an opening. Um, the box uh, and the overall thing are not too heavy, of course. It's just a looper pedal. So it's a riveting, riveting YouTube right here. Uh, once again, well packed. You can see here, just there isn't a way for that box to move around in there. Uh, well done. Throwing this stuff away. And there you go. The Boss RC505 Loop Station. Um, toss that knife. Hope I don't cut the floor. So this thing, um, again, it's been around for shoot, maybe even close to 10 years, but it just still remains like the the powerhouse of these mega loopers, uh, in my opinion, at least. Um, so the the look and feel is a bit dated um, uh, in a way, but it's still a killer piece of equipment, killer piece of gear here. So pretty light. All right, let me open it up here. You can see I got my white Stratocaster in the background, which I'm about to play here on this song coming up. Uh, Taylor GS Mini, which I don't use here. Um, and there it is. Uh, it's a power cable on the left. It comes with an AC adapter, a little double uh, styrofoam on the end of each. There's the power adapter. Pretty big, but if you sort of keep it in the back of whatever gear setup you've got, um, not too uh, problematic or bulky. Don't know where to put it. Where are you gonna put it, Steve? How about on the floor? All right. Now, check out this manual. This thing is like an encyclopedia. I mean, check this book out. Uh, it's about a, almost an inch thick, just full of information. Again, there's a million features and options in this looper, and uh, you can still operate it without having to learn them all, but it's, it's pretty amazing how far you can go with it if you want to. Uh, so there it is. Let me take this last bit of packaging off. reach inside try to shake it out of there and there is the boss RC 505 pretty sweet nice and shiny uh, pretty cool looking here there's a couple different angles right there nice and thin it's really light really light and the bottom's pretty basic there keep it from skidding around here's one last look at the box there go back and pause if you want to see that but it shows you some of the uh, quick options there and again the manual has everything you need all right, so here it is on the floor here. Um, you can tell um, it's got a bunch of different options, buttons and bells and whistles. I'll talk through some of them. And here's my attempt at nice cinema photography here as I zoom around. Um, basically, you've got controls all along the top and then the bottom you have your five tracks, each with their own independent stop and play buttons, their own faders for volume control. And you can 
edit and manage those tracks. I'll hop into the top left real quick. Those three buttons and the big knob in the top left are for input effects. You can add effects before your uh, signal comes in. You can control your mic and level and input. You got your drum tracks and tempo. In the right, there are some setting options. And in the far right, there's track effects. You can apply effects after you've recorded and even take them off um, and undo, you know, and, and manage them. So a uh, lot of different options. Um, here's a look at the back. Uh, on the far left there is DC power in, along with the power switch uh, to turn it off and on. You got USB um, right there uh, to go to a computer, record or manage backups. You got MIDI out and in, full MIDI control. You can do a foot switch to control it. Headphones, uh, line out, stereo line out. You can do aux in. You can do a uh, stereo inputs and also a microphone inputs. So you can plug all sorts of stuff in at the same time. All right, so that's a look at the hardware as I film here like we're in the Death Star in Star Wars. Let's take a look at the song that I created. I'll set it up here with a bit of explanation. Okay, so here we are. I've got my Boss RC505, my Fender Player Series Stratocaster. I'm playing into my Fender Mustang GTX 50 amplifier. I've got a bunch of tones that I've created, which you can download for here uh, for free. Check them out here on my channel. I've got other videos on them. This one is called Clean Dream by Steve Guitar. It's a nice, nice clean tone with some stereo delay and reverb. Uh, and I'm recording into my MacBook, uh, filming with an iPad and an iPhone here. So check this out. So one of the cool things about the RC505, it's got a built-in uh, drum, uh, uh, drum pattern and you got all these different options. Uh, this was a basic hi-hat, we'll come back to that in just a second. Uh, you got five tracks, so let's record on track one. This is a song that I've um, uh, you know, written in my head, I've practiced a little bit, but we're gonna do a live recording and this is gonna be an exploration. I'm learning here as we go. I used to own one of these, um, uh, but it's been a while, so let's give it a shot here. Let me make sure my, my uh, little cable doesn't get in the way. Here we go, ready? So what's cool is each track has an individual fader and um, I can lower it there and bring it back up. And uh, there's also an optional foot switch. I don't have that, so you saw I had, is, had to uh, reach over fast as a guitarist. Let's try something on track two. Okay, here we go. And I preset them to go left or right. You can see there the default is the default is for them to go to uh, overdub right away, which is cool. Now I'm going to switch over to a tone that doesn't have as much delay as this clean two. And there's a cool thing here called guitar to bass. So it's a bass simulator, basically brings it down an octave. Um, you ready? I'll pull that down. So that wasn't real clean. I'm gonna hit the stop button and hold it down. That erases it. Let's try it again, ready? Okay. And now what's cool, uh, turn off guitar to bass. I'm gonna go over here to a tone I got called Bass Breaker. So I'm able to solo on top of it. I'm not recording anything. And let's uh, make the drums a bit more interesting. Ready? fun soloing right there. Uh, let me, actually, I'll come back to that. I'm going to go to Clean Dream again. I'm actually going to record on this track here, ready? Okay, 
Aguilara. So I've taken out the drums and I can bring them back in and I can fade this track right here that I recorded out. Ready? I'm going to hit play. Switch over again, do a little soloing. Here's where things get really fun and really crazy. I'm gonna apply the filter effect, right? And I'm gonna switch the pattern back to the hi-hat, ready? One, two, three, four. Do a little more solo. I didn't mean to go to the metronome there. I thought I was on a different pattern. So that's one thing about this. You gotta get your stuff in order. But if I ever heard a vinyl flick, check this out. Right? A lot of fun. I'll bring back the filter. And I'm gonna go to an atmospheric tone. Check this one out, right? I'll turn this off. Wow, 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 wow,
sure what happened there, but let's take it to the club. Ready? All right, that's a guitarist quick take on the Boss RC505, a little crazy, a little fun. I'm gonna keep going at it, uh, learning everything, and do a bunch more videos here, live looping uh, demos like that, also tutorials on the effects, the settings, anything you can think of, it'll be fun. Uh, and also, if you're new to my channel, subscribe here at Steve Guitar. I've got uh, tones for the Fender Mustang GTX amplifier, uh, do um, a bunch of guitar lessons, live looping demos, and more. All right, see you next time.